I don't have a spectator with me, but if I did, then this trick would make a whole lot more sense to you, but I don't, so we'll just have to make do. So, what I would have the spectator do if there was one here with me is I would have them pick a card, okay? Let's just say they pick this card, okay? I promise I'm not looking at it, okay? Hopefully you guys can see that, maybe. Maybe, I <laughs> just hope. Okay. Now, um, now we're just gonna cut the deck about halfway, okay? Now, normally I would have a spectator choose this, and this is not just because there's a not a spectator here with me. It's actually because a magician never gets to choose anything, and I want to have at least one trick where the um, where the magician actually gets to choose something, if that makes sense, I guess. Um, but we'll just keep on going through the deck until we're out, pretty much. No, let's just sit the rest down there, okay. I actually messed up, okay? But we can keep on going, we can keep on going on. What, the spectator is actually supposed to tell me which card to put on top of which stack, okay? Like, he wants this card, then this card, then this card. Um, let's just, let's just say they want the king of clubs, four of diamond stack, five of clubs stack, then the nine of hearts stack, six of diamond stack, four of spades stack, and the, then the jack of spades, okay? Now, hopefully, okay, even though I messed up, hopefully this trick will work. If I cut the deck right here, is this your card? No? Okay. Now we'll go a little bit deeper. Um, is this your card? No? Okay. Um, all right, what was your card? In this case, the spectator would say the nine of spades. I'll show you soon how I was able to figure that out. Okay, but so they would say, tell me the nine of spades and I would go, oh. Okay, um, N-I-N-E-O-F-S-P-A-D-E-S. -E -E there we go, nine of spades. And that's the trick, and stick around for the tutorial. So, this trick is absolutely amazing. I've been doing it ever since I started about three years ago. And, I mean, it pretty much fools almost everyone I perform it for. And it involves pretty much zero sleight of hand, but it is... An amazing trick to perform especially for beginners and I'm guessing that's what some of you are now um, here is the how you pretty much do the trick okay I um, will show you how I did it like I like I can do this type of cut okay but you might have to do like this or something okay but I will just show you from all different perspectives kind of okay so what you need to know in this trick okay is what a key card is and that's about it, I guess. Okay? So a key card for for this trick, and not for every trick, so don't just think key card is this definition right here. But the in this trick, the king of diamonds will be the um, key card because it's on the bottom of the deck. Okay? Now, when I say that they pick a random card, you're not forcing your card or anything. You're just actually letting them have a free selection. And I genuinely didn't look at this last time. Okay? But this time I kind of am. Eight of hearts. Um, but what you would do is you would just ask them to kindly move it to the top, okay? And then you would cut the deck. Now, if you think about it, if you know what the king of diamonds is, or if you know what the bottom card is, okay, in this case the king of diamonds, then you can just put it on top. Now, as you can see, if we go through the deck of cards, okay, the card after the king of diamonds... There it is. The card after the King of Diamonds is the Eight of Hearts. So, that kind of is a giveaway of what their card is, okay? But as you saw, I didn't go to the deck and was like, oh, what's your card? What What happens, okay, is I'm not doing this just because I'm a magician and I'm wanting to do it or whatever. It's because this is how the trick is happening, okay? So, I go through the deck, okay, just one by one. It really doesn't matter how many stacks you deal, okay? But make sure you're dealing it and just... A few more stacks than maybe you normally would like just don't deal it all in one stack keep on and just keep on going okay until you find that key card okay so my key card in this example is the king of diamonds but your card could be literally anything okay there it is king of diamonds all right now this is where the trick comes in okay when I saw that king of diamonds I know that this card 
is the card that they chose, okay? But as soon as I see that card, I don't just keep on dealing, okay? What I do is I go into another stack, okay? And just keep on dealing. Now, you have the Eight of Hearts as a top card in one of the stacks, okay? And you need to remember where that stack is at all times, okay? Then, this is where the main trick comes, in, comes into play. What you do is you count, you see... I just got to see what their card was, and now I'm counting to the eight of hearts. So I would go E I G H T O F H E A R T S. That is a coincidence, by the way, that I have one card left. I mean, you're not going to have one card left, probably. But now you have a stack that has eight of hearts spelled out in it. Okay, now, um, as you saw in the performance, you do not count the eight of hearts or whatever their card is out loud, okay? Because then it will give away the trick. But you just count it in your head as you're dealing that stack, okay? And for beginners, if I were you, I would not talk while you're counting that, okay? Make sure when you see your key card, you kind of are at a stopping point. So you can, of uh, what you're saying to the spectator about like, oh, I like, I'm a magician, so I like to get an opportunity to get an edge and add like every now and then on the actual trick in and of itself. And then just try to get to a stopping point in what you're saying when you get to that um, key card. And just so you can deal down the cards that are the, till the eight of hearts, okay? And you can deal down the, and then you can deal down the spelling of it, okay? And then just deal this one down right here, I guess, okay? But just keep on going until you have no cards left, pretty much, okay? Now, you remember where the eight of hearts is, Okay, and it is the top card in that stack, and this has eight hearts spelled out in it. All you have to do, okay, all you have to do is this, okay, and then just keep on going, you know, just da 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 da. But then you have to act like, oh no, I messed up. Um, you, I didn't really mess up in the performance, okay. You're acting like you messed up, and you're like, you're supposed to tell me which stack to put on top of which stack, and that makes the outcome even better because it's like. Wait, hold on. If, if he or she was supposed to do that, then how how in the world could he have done that then? Or she. Um, and so, then you tell, then you ask them which stack to put on top of which stack, just like I showed you guys in the performance. Let's just say the king of diamonds, the three of spades, then the ten of clubs, then the king of spades. Okay? Now, what you would do next, okay, is the trick is done. Okay? It, when you count the E I G H T O F H E A R T S, okay, it'll be the Eight of Hearts, okay. And by the way, you don't actually do that, but um, but um, you don't even have to do that, okay. You don't even have to do this next part. I mean, sorry about that. You don't even have to do this next part, but I suggest it because I think it does add to the trick, in my opinion. But what you do, okay, is you cut the deck and you're like. Okay. Now, is this the card? Of course not. Okay. But you're like, is this your card? They'll say no, and you're like, okay. See, this kind of makes the spectator think you messed up. But then you come in with the, I don't say the pow at the end. Okay. And then it just completely fools them. And then I like to do it one more time just for fun, I guess. Um, and I'm like, all right, is this your card? Okay. Now, make sure you look at it before you actually show it to them. Because I've had it happen twice in my three years of doing it, so it's not too common, I guess. One out of 52, technically. But it's not too common, but you could actually, like, cut to whatever, wherever their card is in the deck, okay? But that's why I usually like to make sure I cut deeper, because I know that the Eight of Hearts only goes down to, like, here or so, okay? So I like to usually cut it deeper. But, you know, if you, wanna, if you want to, you can cut more to the top of the deck. Um, but just make sure you look at that card before making sure you know it's not the eight of hearts, okay? And then they're like, and then, and then you just act like you messed up, you just messed up again, and then you're like, okay, I mean, just tell me what your card was, I have no idea. And then they'll be like, it was the eight of hearts, and you're like, the eight of hearts, huh? Then you would go, okay, um, E-I-G-H-T-O-F-H-E-A-R-T-S. Oh, there it is, okay. Now, that's pretty much the um, end of the trick. Um, send, in your, send in your performances of this, and um, 
us live wire will watch them. Thank you.